It's today's over the board match that I played, a friendly against a much higher rated player than myself. It's in preparation for next week's um, league match where basically we're playing people that are in the 2000 plus area, which is massively outrating out our team. So I thought, well, I'll give this a shot, have a bit of fun. Uh, this is just before I go on my trekking weekend. So, um,. I was looking forward to the game just to see where my head's at playing against these um, higher rated players. Anyway, we played as white, which is not the favourite colour for myself. I, I like playing as black, but hey, we're going to give it a shot. They did put one, one rule in the game, which was that I was not allowed to offer a draw. That was the only rule. Okay, so we played as white and we pushed forward with our usual e4 and they pushed down through the center for okay this is a bit aggressive type thing usually higher rated players go a little bit soft and they do a small opening anyway we captured and then we captured again and then they brought the bishop out so this is a different kind of line i've not really seen this sort of position for a while um it's very rare that you see this sort of situation so i'm thinking well i need to tread a little bit carefully here gauge bar is saying that it's working for us but when you're actually playing the game and you see something different and unusual you don't think you're getting an advantage at all so i developed the knight and just developed the other knight as well. So he's got his two bishops out at the minute. I'm thinking, wow, okay. Really using the power of the bishops already early on in the game. Is it going to be to their benefit? I don't know. Uh, so they bring their knight out. As you can see, the gauge bar is really singing for us. You know, I wish I'd seen the gauge bar, you know, during the game. So I'd be, be able to ascertain what, what it was that was advantageous for us. Didn't feel that way. We're just starting out in the opening. So I bring the bishop out just to put a check on the king, just to say, look, we're in the game here. And then they push the pawn down. So I'm fairly happy because it's kind of stopping the knight from jumping into this particular square. I'm not saying that it wanted to. Uh, so we brought the bishop back now, just um, protecting the knight and keeping cozy with the king type thing. I didn't really want to overextend. I was expecting that pawn move. Just to basically say, well, okay, well, I'm stopping your knight from jumping to this area. Small potatoes. So they bring the knight across instead, in front of their queen, so it's blocking them for a bit. And then we castle. I really didn't want to castle, though. I said to myself, okay, let's castle late and see if we can work. But the odd way in which they were moving with like the bishops type things, and I wasn't really too familiar with this position here, uh, with the, this bishop, I thought I'd better get king safety. But he's already got this angle here, he's got this angle coming through, so I'm a little bit wary. So they castle. So now we're smaller piece attack and higher piece can't be wrong, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. So they move back, so then just reinforcing with the bishop, x raying through maybe potentially to their bishop. And then they push the pawn down here. At first I wondered what that was, but then obviously it's stopping our knight from jumping into any of these squares. So bring the knight up now. Um, again, potentially coming to this side here or sitting into this little gap just to be a bit of an annoyance. So they bring the knight, uh, bishop down attacking the knight. So obviously we're just going to sink it into this square. It's not really doing anything major apart from attacking this pawn. Um, we could get away with it and jump back again if, if need be. But they block with the rook. Look at the gauge bar. It's plus 3.6 now for us. So there's some type of advantage somewhere within this manoeuvre. But my team don't feel like they're working together. Um, so at that moment in time, I didn't feel that there was any major advantage. It's a single attack. Not got my pieces working together really. So we look to attack the bishop because the knight can come and defend. It's got the x-ray through to their king. And they do take, so we bring the knight down so it's more functional. It's now attacking their dark square bishop as well. So it's doing like a two-fold thing. 
with a single attack but I'm trying to make sure that my knight is coming back into my team so that my team can support it if need be because it's out there on its own. So I bring the knight down so we capture the bishop so feeling quite good that the knight has done a good job in terms of being able to take their two bishops off the board and it's not really messed up my position on the board too much. Their knight is attacking our bishop but I'm, in my head I'm going well that's potentially my bad bishop because you know it's just uh, it's on a dark square my pawns are sort of in dark squares so I don't really mind too much if they do capture that. So I bring the queen up I still leave the bishop there and basically trying to mine this square so that the knight potentially can't jump here. So the rooks are now doubling up onto this um, bishop. We do have the pawn protecting, so that don't, again, that's not too much of an issue. We bring the bishop back now, maybe looking to eye up managing this square, managing this square, managing this square as well for the rook potentially, seeing as they've not taken the, the uh, bishop off the board. Maybe we can turn it into a good bishop. You never know was a bit concerned about this pawn because maybe he's going to get a 2 on 1 on this pawn. Queen moves off of the line. So now we can look to exchange off the rooks. Or try and own the file if anything with the rooks. So the knight does a merry dance. I'm thinking he's coming for this pawn here so maybe we can get the queen here. So I've got an extra through to their king so this knight can't move. It's a shame that we don't have a pawn this side. We do have a pawn on this side but obviously the x-ray doesn't work that way so they push their pawn down so we just take the rook off the board and they take off but it's now plus seven plus seven so somehow we're kind of out and out winning here doesn't feel that way um all i'm looking to do is exchange the rooks off and see if we can take advantage of I, there's nothing major as far as i can see we're plus one and that's about it so that's the only advantage that I can see so we look to exchange the rook off he does that to the capture we take with the knight and again it's plus seven and then it drops again I think it's suggesting c4 here we didn't see this um, we're looking to get the knight active into the game maybe coming here maybe it coming to attack the knight or something but the queen is there at the minute maybe some support here all sorts of little things were going on I'm just thinking well I just need to get my pieces working together or if I can support my pieces they move the queen across so we bring the knight across now because the queen can't take so we're attacking their knight bishops protecting here and they don't take that means we're plus 5.5 .5 at this moment in time so we grab the knight and we can grab the pawn and now it's saying it's a draw. It's basically saying should have taken this pawn because we would have been on the knight and we're also on this pawn as well so probably would have got two pawns during the game. I just didn't see it. I was so focused on trying to get as close towards their king as possible to start putting checks on. That's my only rationale that I can think as to why I did that because obviously he could take this pawn here which they do Okay, now that's showing that it's gone up plus 7.2. It's always about this pawn here. So it's saying take this pawn. But like I said, I was focused on trying to squish the king, trying to get some sort of rhythm towards either getting a repetition because the player is a much higher rated player than myself. So I was going to be happy going for the draw. I wasn't allowed to offer the draw so I'm thinking well maybe we can play it out to a draw so I didn't feel I was winning in any way shape but this is out and out winning again which always in my head most of the times I do find good positions during chess games it's just I just I don't feel it in the game when I bring back the evaluation I'm usually not doing too bad but when you're playing over the board sometimes it is quite difficult to see so they move the king, so I'm thinking, oh, are we going for a repetition? And he's moved back again. But then in my heart of hearts, I thought, he's not going to go for a repetition. He's just doing this to make it look like he is. And then he pushed the pawn down. 
we're still plus 7.1 up. Unbelievable. It's on about this pawn here. And for the life of me, my focal point wasn't on that. Yeah, my focal point was on trying anything to try and squish the king. Yeah, that would have given me a bit of gold there. They would have had to move the knight. Hmm. Yeah. So you can see my focal point. Yeah, I'm trying to squish the king, but you can simply push the pawn down. It's still showing plus two for us. Um, we're looking to try and do anything. Smaller piece attacking the higher piece, and, and this pawn can't take. We're trying to get a disturbance there. But when you look at the tail of the tape, it's not really got much um, weight behind it. Because even if we do take and they take, then obviously we can put a check on. That would give us a benefit, I suppose. But they don't have to. So now their queen comes down, upsetting the apple car, attacking our bishop. So we move the bishop attacking their uh, knight. And they put a check on, so we can move the king up. And then the knight moves out of the way. So it's showing a plus again for us, for, uh, plus two. And g takes c5, what is that? G or h5, so it's that there. Let's see, what did we do? Yes, we took, yay. But then the queen takes. And it is saying queen take, but I don't think I was wearing them apples at that point. So I decided to push up here, thinking that if I get some space towards here, then I could potentially come across here and get my bishop and my queen working together to get the king trapped if their queen didn't take. And they didn't take. And it's saying take. Take the queen. Queen takes h5. I was tempted. Ah, maybe I should have done. Okay, so we went up with the check on the king. They went back down, so at that point I'm thinking, well, if I don't do anything, he's going to start putting checks on me somewhere. So I need to bring the queen back and just go for the exchange if that's going to happen. And they don't. And at this point, I actually took. So we're plus 4.4, so we're still advantageous here. In my head, I'm thinking, this, is a, this has got to be a draw now. Yeah, playing it over the board, you know, not seeing the gauge bar or anything like that. I'm saying to myself, this must be a draw. Surely. I, well, I really wanted to verbalise it and say draw, but, um, I, you know, we promised that we weren't going to say that. So we grabbed the pawn, brought our bishop up. We're looking to stabilise the bishop up here. In my head, I'm going, this is a draw. I'm, there's no way I'm winning. But the gauge bar is actually showing 5.6 for us. So we're actually in a winning, a totally winning state here. So we push the pawn up. And what's it actually saying? G, blah, blah, blah. King G3. So getting the king up early. All right. So we pushed up just to stabilize. Maybe we could have deferred that move mm, okay fair enough and they push down and then we push past looking to see if we can get some gold here still plus four point there mm -hmm. they capture capture it still pluses for us oh my giddy aunt. i know it's a bit well it's probably because we've got these pawns here and you know these extra pawns but he's, he does have a knight um I was definitely not playing for any win here. I was definitely looking for a drawn position. Because, it, you know, they're a good player. So I'm not going to basically think I'm going to beat them. <laughs> um, so we bring the king across. And now we attack the knight. And just start pushing the pawn up a little bit. Bring the king across maybe to support. Really, I didn't want to do that. I wanted my king to come up here. But uh, it seemed like it was going to be better placed maybe at some point trying to support this pawn coming up so they move the king so we move the our king up and it's still showing that we're out and out winning here um i'm searching for a draw i know full well this knight is just going to be a botheration it's going to want to either take the pawn off or get the bishop off and then all these pawns just going to disappear and our king can maybe whip these pawns off on the other side so we push the pawn up. Oh, plus seven point. <sighs> you having a laugh? Okay, right. So there, and then we push the pawn up. Now we stabilise the bishop. 
But I'm thinking, I don't think we're going to get these pawns any higher up because this king is just going to guard everywhere. Maybe. So the king comes in, so it's guarding the pawns. It's saying d7. Ooh, I don't know about them apples. d7. And the king takes... Does the, oh, does the king come up there? Oh, he gets that space. Oh, well, we didn't do that. <laughs> and we came across looking to attack the knight. And the knight then starts peeling the pawns off. Let's just go back to this d7 thing here. Because I think that's an interesting situation. That d7. King takes. King f5. Yeah, it's for the king to get sat here. Knight takes f6. Well, yeah, so it's kind of forced to take that, isn't it? Because it's just going to go ramping up. So, yeah, going for the knight. Knight's peeling off all the pieces. And at this point, I'm, I'm losing the will to live now. I'm thinking, oh my god, maybe it's not going to be a draw now. He's just taking stuff off. But I'm just realising his, his knight... He's just got to start taking these pawns off here. And the rhythm's on their side. It is a draw. So at this point, I wasn't too panicked. Because I'm thinking, this definitely is a draw. But, I was thinking, well, why are they playing on? We know this is a draw. And capture, capture, and then it ended up being a, a physical draw. So, yeah, that's it for now. See ya.